Welcome to the next episode of 852 Reboot Hong Kong. We're outside DJI, which is a company born in Hong Kong, moved to Shenzhen and went global. And the topic today is the Greater Bay Area. How does Hong Kong work with Shenzhen? And my guest speaker is Brent Deverman, who is the founder of NowShenzhen.com. Brent, thank you for being here. What brought you from Michigan and the US to Asia in 2000? Well, I studied Chinese in Michigan and found my first job in Shenzhen. Excellent. And what were you doing there? Well, doing e-commerce. Uh, back on, in 2000? Back in 2000, was doing an e-commerce watch startup. Yeah. Excellent. And then when did you come into Hong Kong? What was the, because you've come the other way. Most of us go Hong Kong, Shenzhen or Hong Kong, China. What brought you from Shenzhen across to Hong Kong? Well, after running my business in uh, Shenzhen for 10 years, I uh, migrated over to Hong Kong to work and uh, then have been here ever since. Tell us a little bit more about uh, this business that you started in Shenzhen. Is that now Shenzhen or was it a different business? Yeah, well, I've, I've just rebranded it as now Shenzhen. Um, okay. And, uh, you know, I try to solve the problems of people arriving in Shenzhen, even before, even before they arrive, to when they leave Shenzhen. From uh, finding apartments, to hiring staff, uh, you know, finding places to go, restaurants, hotels to stay in, uh, etc. So you, and you were seeing this back in 2000, you saw a, a need for expats coming into China and setting up their operation in Shenzhen. Is, is that who you were addressing? Yeah, I mean, there was no English information uh, at that time online. Uh, and so we just decided that we should, you know, make that English information, uh, you know, some friends of mine and, and me. Yeah. And I see that you, over the years, you've also published a few guides to Shenzhen. Where have you seen it evolve? I mean, if you were there in 2000, 20 years later, we've just had the uh, 40th anniversary of the founding of Shenzhen, I guess, as, as a business center. What's the evolution you've seen in, in that time? Well, I mean, Shenzhen has grown beyond my imagination. Um, you know, currently in the last few years, there's about 400,000 people coming to Shenzhen each year. Um, and so you can imagine the infrastructure that needs to be built. Uh, the services, the schools, the hospitals, uh, the MTR. Uh, the MTR network is just gigantic, um, and they've opened about probably two MTR lines just this year. And do you think it's because companies like DJI and, and Tencent and Huawei base themselves out of Shenzhen that it's become such a, a global success in terms of city rankings? I saw somewhere it was like the fifth largest or um, in terms of economy. Is it these companies that have driven the growth? Yeah, I mean, the, the, uh, Shenzhen's surpassed Hong Kong's economy, uh, surpassed Hong Kong's population. Um, it's uh, th these companies that were starting mainly in manufacturing to begin with, and then eventually, as the internet boom grew, uh, to the digital space uh, for the Tencent. And, uh, it's, you know, and then now the combination of internet and the physical is, is you know, met in Shenzhen and produced in Shenzhen. So how have you found it as an American running a, a kind of, I guess, a, a media website in Shenzhen? You know, your, your, your content is obviously for expats, so I guess it's useful stuff, right? Have you, have you found any challenges in doing that or is it quite, quite smooth sailing? Uh, it's never smooth sailing doing business in China, uh, but you, you, know, you get so much education when, you, when you're uh, working in China and doing a business in China. Um, and so. You know, it's taught me so much uh, for running a business and, uh, you know, I've been able to, uh, you know, make a business that tries to help solve people's problems. Um, so, you know, uh, a lot of the media part is not so much of a problem when I'm just trying to connect uh, people that are looking for services to businesses in Shenzhen. And is your target primarily expats or are you targeting Hong Kong people, are you, do you actually have a target within China? Is it the, the international Chinese? Is it the expat community in China? Where do you see, you know, you're, you're a tech guy, so you must know where the traffic comes from. I mean, the, the first uh, kind of target is those, those business people coming into Shenzhen um, that are looking to uh, do business in Shenzhen. Uh, second target is the people living in Shenzhen, um, uh, mainly expats, because the site is in English. And then also a lot of Chinese also use the site um, because either they studied abroad and they want to meet expats or um, they want to find a job because they've uh, studied English and they want to work for a foreign company. 
So kind of we solve all those problems and we're, we're at the nexus of the international community that is coming to Shenzhen to uh, you know, meet, make a fortune and strike it rich. So are you more of a, is it more about, is it like a LinkedIn or is it more of a, a kind of guide, like a, a, like a, a journal of what's, what's going on this weekend? I mean, what, what elements are you covering? Yeah, I'd say it's a, it's a hybrid because, you know, we've been uh, very active on social media and WeChat. So we have all the WeChat groups where you can, you know, meet people and discuss and, uh, you know, make friends when you just arrive in the city. Um, and then, of course, we publish regular content on our site. And then we have a whole user-generated content where companies can post uh, their own job openings. Uh, real estate agents can post uh, their own apartments. Um, so it's been a big mix of uh, user-generated as well as you know uh, professionally generated content. So you're you're a, you're a, essentially a tech guy, but you're an entrepreneur now. What would be your advice for somebody who's setting up a business like this, which is cross-border mm -hmm. and is you know tapping into the growth of China and people's curiosity, what would be your advice? Well, I think one thing is you got to think pretty big, right? Um, all the Chinese in Shenzhen are thinking very big, you know, the, for, for their ideas. And, and uh, I think China favors the companies that um, are a little bit bigger, you know, medium-sized enterprises. So you want to make sure you have enough capital, uh, enough support um, in, in China. Uh, you know, if you want to set up a small restaurant, um, you know, you can struggle. But if you want to set up a chain of restaurants across China, you know, that's where I think you can, you can really uh, uh, have the big growth. And in terms of, I mean, you, you target, from a digital marketing perspective, you're targeting audiences in, in both kind of versions of the internet. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what have you learned about targeting you know, overseas audiences versus targeting domestic audiences? Um, well, I mean, I guess one, one surprising thing is, you know, some of, some, most of my traffic is, is still from Google, from search. So a lot of those sites that are, are blocked in China um, still actually provide me traffic and people still use them. Um, so that, that's kind of surprising. Um, and then we have to arbitrage from, from those, those kind of sites back to WeChat, um, where people are spending probably the majority of their time when they are in China. Um, they're chatting on WeChat, they're using the WeChat mini programs and, and following WeChat official accounts. And so we, we have to cross those kind of uh, So you're chasms. managing a, a large footprint. Yeah. Let's get on to the, uh, the two plugs. What's your first thing that you would like to promote? Okay, so, so the first thing is we just relaunched our uh, job section. Um, and so if anybody wants to go to naoshenzhen.com and uh, post a job, um, I can give uh, extra promotion on all our social media channels, our LinkedIn and everything for free. Um, you can just email me and we'll put an email uh, next to the video um, and, uh, and happy to help uh, you know, match your company for full-time or part-time uh, job opportunities in, in Shenzhen. So you're going to help all of us move from Hong Kong to Shenzhen, yes, right? Is yes. it, you're not going to help us find big jobs in Shenzhen. <laughs> or hire, <laughs> hire, hire part-time staff if you need uh, lower cost staff to run your Hong Kong company, yeah. you can do that. And yeah. the second plug? Um, and the second plug is, I mean, to, to help you, you know, integrate more with the mainland and, uh, you know, find more opportunities. It helps to be able to speak Mandarin. And so um, I have a partner school called uh, Omedia Chinese that um, you can get a 35% discount if you want to study Chinese online. Um, so, you know, remote education uh, to learn Chinese so that you can... And we'll add this, we'll add, we'll add this to, yeah. the, to the video. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been very good talking to you, Brent. Uh, okay. I wish I had my DJI gimbal. I don't. But anyway, thanks very much. Yes, yeah. No problem. Thanks, Napoleon. <laughs>